Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Bradley Allen Hensley. Sorry it's been a minute since I made a video. I had found me a good woman, God-fearing woman. Love of my life as it turns out. I'm pretty sure she's the love of my life. Well, she has a two-year-old going through a nasty divorce. Her ex don't want to fucking let her, leave her alone because he's a psycho. Likes to abuse women, sexually abuse children and women. So, CPS is involved. Now, at first, no issue. Cool. Then, thanks to the old man and CPS, they follow bullshit, neglect thing. In it, they say that no non-related males can be around their kid. Alright, cool. We abide by that. Because around we figure means the whole new age world doesn't mean dumb. So we, and we abide by it, period. And I love this little boy. And he loves me. At least, he did. So it broke my heart. I mean, I had a chance to tell my phone in my entire fucking life. A family of my own. Now, thanks to Scary County Department of Social Services, Child Protective Services Division, here in New York, we call it CPS. They have stripped me of my family. The young lady I was with was not just my girlfriend, she was my fiance. We were talking about getting married. I've literally known this woman her whole fucking life. And we were talking about getting married. So yes, she was my motherfucking fiance. And I love her. Still do love her. And she still loves me because we talk every day. Because we made a decision. We made a promise when we started this. If something happened, uh, we well, would at least be nice to each other for the kids' sake. And I'm down with that. I've got nothing on my fucking record. Nothing that would want me not being able to be around kids. I'm not a child molester. I don't hurt kids. In fact, I'm generally the motherfucker who's hurting the motherfucker who's hurting kids. The only thing I've got on my record as far as CPS is concerned, you know, is that I help families out. I have balls enough to stand up when there's a wrong being done. Now, Lisa Kane has an issue with my old lady's dead mother. And she's taking it out on my ex old lady. Because, yeah, we are not together anymore. We're still friends. But the relationship part of it, the family part of it, they've completely fucked me out of. Now I know using someone's religion to try to say that they're delusional is illegal. But that's one of the things that Harry County CPS did. Now, my understanding is Child Protective Services is supposed to protect children. Yet they are doing everything in their power to harm 
not just this child, but any other child. Why do I say that, you ask? Well, it's simply put this. Literally, they are doing everything they can to harm this child. They took away the best example of a father that he's ever had. That's not my saying it. That's her saying that. That's his school saying that. These tools, these two, so it goes to what's called Head Start in New York. That's his teacher saying that. And they, the judge, on their advice, made him have to start seeing the man on his birth certificate's family, because the man on his birth certificate can't be found. Now, logic speaking, if a man is abusing his child, even if he's accused of sexually abusing a child, him and his family shouldn't be allowed around that child, right? Well, not in Scary County. In Scary County, you can fuck your sexual abuse of kid and don't make sure the kid gets to you every fucking visit just so you can keep fucking abu trying to abuse that child. That's what's going on here in Scary County. And it's fucked up and it's wrong. Now, I help that child to heal the best I could. In the short time I was there, he does seem better when I'm there because he knows I won't let anyone hurt him. He's a smart two-year-old, big for his age. He often gets mistaken for four, three, four, maybe even five, but still. They ripped apart a family. Literally. Ripped apart my motherfucking family. They tore me away from my family. Because of all the stress and everything that they have put her through. She can't handle dealing with them and being in a relationship. And truth be told, it fucking kills me. I know it, I look right now like it don't. But this shit happened a week ago. A fucking, almost a week ago. It'll be a week ago Saturday that I've seen her, except for talking to her on the phone. Longer than that, that I've seen her son. I love her son. I love her. I've never done nothing fucking wrong with children. Never. But they won't clear me and they damn sure won't tell me why. That alone is causing her son emotional, mental, and psychological fucking harm. The fact that they're keeping his mother so fucking stressed out is not funny and helping him none. She won't ever do anything to hurt him. In fact, she'll put her well fucking being above his any day of the week. She's a very good fucking mother. But CPS in New York State, Scary County, has ripped apart a fucking loving family literally ripped us apart now correct me if I'm wrong but isn't the job of CPS supposed to be to protect children and do what's right for children well they're not doing that here in Scary County Julie Sammons, Lisa Kane, Sandy Wood, 
and the fucking commissioner. Can't think of her name right now. Are not doing their job correctly. They are doing harm to this child. Because they are not allowing any unrelated man around him. Especially me. And they won't say why. But yet there's nothing in my record at all, anything wrong with children. But yet they won't tell me why. I've asked several times, nothing. I get to run around. I know it looks like I'm keeping it together on the outside, but trust me, that's a very, very, very carefully done, hard to maintain front. It took me almost a week just to get where I could do this video. I miss every day my family. And every day my family misses me. We weren't going to get married anytime soon. Hell, we were looking at next year at the earliest to get married. We were going through pre-marriage counseling and everything. Not now. Schoharie County, Schoharie County, New York, Schoharie County, CPS has fucked over this family. And they are failing at their job of protecting a child. All she wants and all I want is to be together with her son and be a happy family without CPS so far up our asses that they could tell us how bad our fart stank 20 fucking years before we fought. I don't see that as such a bad thing, a hard thing to ask for. Logically, there's nothing in my fucking record. I've never done anything fucking wrong. They've got no fucking grounds. Neither is she. She's a goody two-shoes. Yes, I have a criminal record. Yes, there's violence on it. That was all when I was younger. And you show me a vet who came home who saw, who saw combat who ain't got a record. I'll show you someone who didn't see fucking combat. But I'm... I'm barely holding it together here, people. If you want to call and ask to speak to the Commission of Scary County Social Services, well, that number is area code 518 two nine five eight three three four the dispatcher the secretary could transfer you to the commissioner if you want to find out who their bosses are just type up um albany new york all just type in uh, albany uh uh CPS head office and they can it'll come up on the internet and they can get you there because we've actually spoke to uh, Alyssa um, Bakerin well we haven't spoke to her we left messages well we saw left messages but I think she spoke to her nothing's happened this is wrong they're violating constitutional rights of me, her, and the child, most importantly. And they're doing severe fucking harm to the child, who's two years old. All because we got away from, she got away from a psycho, child molesting, wife raping, mentally abusive 
fucking psycho of an ex. And they didn't like that. They don't like the fact that she's a Christian. I am a Christian. Her son is going to end up being raised, is going to end up being raised in a two-parent, stable, Christian, nuclear family household. God forbid that happens, right? I'm not any good at this asking for help shit. But if there's anybody, anybody out there who can help us with this, please, please, I'm asking for help. I don't want to lose my family, and they, they've already won on that one. We went from being a family to now we're back to just being friends. And I love my family. I don't want to lose my family, please. Especially when I didn't fucking do nothing and she didn't do nothing. And clearly, we both want to fucking be together still. Considering she tells me she loves me. Every time we talk on the phone, which is at least twice, to twice or more a fucking day. And I love her. And I love her child. And what CPS is doing is not right. It's a violation of our First Amendment right. It's a violation of our inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So if anyone's got any idea on how to deal with these people, please let me know in the comments below. She's been dealing with them for over two fucking years. There's nothing in her fucking record. It's just her ex being an asshole. Please. I don't know what to say. Call Julie Sammons at the number I gave before. It's 518-295-8334. Ask to speak to Julie Sammons. S-A-M-M-O-N-S. Ask to speak to Lisa Kane, Sandy Wood. Or the commissioner. Either way, we need help. If there's a great lawyer in New York who's willing to do this shit pro bono because we're both broke, get in touch with me and we can go from there because I know they're violating my rights and I'm not sure what grounds I have on this at this point. But they're literally... They've literally ripped apart a good family because they don't like the fact that I have balls enough to stand up and help friends. And they have an issue with her mother who's passed away, God rest at least his soul. And because she is her mom's daughter and she is setting up a nonprofit to help out other families so they don't have to go through this shit. They're coming at her and trying to control and hurt her by using her child and taking away the one person who's been there to help since he's found out they were back around. Me. I love her. I love him. I'll do anything for him. I thought CPS's job was to do what's right for a child. But it's not in this county. In this county, it's to do whatever the fuck is right for them. They ripped apart a good family. Put yourself in a two-year-old's shoes. You choose someone to be your daddy. You call him daddy. Your mama and daddy, your mama and him try to get you to call him by his first name. In this case, Brad. The most they can get out of you is Brad Daddy. Because you've already chosen this man to be your father. So your mother and him say, okay, well, the kid's chosen. Let's see if there's something here with friends. Let's see if there's something here. So they try. There's fucking a great thing that's 
beautiful. I mean, it's fucking pure. It's love. It's beautiful. It's everything her, him, and the kid probably have been praying for. And then in walks social services, and they rip it all apart, which is what they did. They ripped me out of his life. Then they put other restrictions to where the mother can't do anything, but literally sit at home and try to take care of the kid and try to handle all the bullshit that they keep piling on her and piling on her and piling on her, and she handles it. She handles it fucking great. But they ripped apart our family. By taking me out, they ripped apart our fucking family, man. All I've ever wanted in my life. I'm 40 fucking six. She's 33. All I've ever wanted in my life. In 40 fucking six years on this God blessed planet. Is a family. And the one time, the one time I have that, I get that. And it's truly from God. And it's truly a real fucking family. And it's a great thing. And it's beautiful. And it's, I can't describe it. I was happy. She was happy. The kid was fucking over the moon. The CPS comes in. I don't know where, because they can't control her, they can't control me. And what do they do to control us? They rip me away from him. Now, he thinks he did something wrong, or that we're fighting or something, because this is the same shit as fucking psycho fucking that's on his birth certificate would do. So he's fucking all upset. He doesn't understand what's going on. He's only fucking two. She tries to explain to him that no, we're not fighting, that we love each other, that it's because someone lied. And but he's only two. He don't fucking understand. No matter how smart he is, he's only fucking two. So he blames himself. I know he does, and he shouldn't, but he does. And what's that cause? That causes stress and aggravation. It's not needed on a two-year-old. That's going to stick with him the rest of his life. They stripped away a family, a good family, from a fucking kid for no other reason than the control and fucking power. They don't give a fuck about what's right for the kid. They care about how can we control these people? How can we make their life a living hell because, well, our lives suck? That's what the fuck they did. And I'm fighting back fucking crime. Because I don't like the goddamn car. Sorry, Lord. But they tore apart my fucking family. The only thing I've ever wanted in my life was the, fam was the family. And I got it. And then CPS waltzes in for no fucking reason and tears us up. That ain't fucking right, and the damn sure ain't fucking legal. So I'm asking you, please, all my followers, make sure, try to make sure this video goes viral. Between it, maybe we could get on the news or something. Between it and maybe getting on the news and the bullshit ruckus that we're causing by calling the head office in Albany and shit, maybe, maybe we can get something kicked off. 
If anyone knows if Lisa Kane has children or whatever, do me a favor, let me know, please. And names, address, shit like that if you could, please. Not for nefarious means. I'm doing everything legal. But this... This ain't legal, man. It ain't even fair. They ripped apart a good, stable family for no fucking reason other than, well, they could, so why the fuck not? Was, like I said, Mina is still friendly, but... Damn it, I love them. And this is killing me. And I know it's hurting her. And I know it's hurting the child most importantly. Me and her are adults. We can deal with pain and shit. This is hurting the kid, which extra hurts us. I don't see how anyone on this planet can be so unfeeling. So unprofessional in their job as to do something like this. But yet, Julie Simmons, Lisa Kane, Sandy Wood, and the commissioner, this is exactly what the fuck they've done and they are continuing to do. If anyone, anyone knows how to help with this situation, Text me. Or better yet, email me. I'll put my email addresses down in the description in the box below. That's it for this video. As usual, think for yourselves. Like, share, subscribe, bell notification. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. But if you could help, we'd appreciate it. Thank you, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.